Let us subtract two fractions. We have three quarter minus one eighth. Here you can consider a certain number of eights minus one eight. If you had say seven eight minus one eight, you'd left, be left with six eight. If you had ten eight minus one eight, you would be left with nine eight, and so on. So as ju just as we did with addition, we're going to turn the four into eight by multiplying by two here, and we have to multiply by two up top as well. So. It's the same as multiplying by 2 over 2. Alright? Same as multiplying by 1. So the value of the fraction doesn't change. So this becomes 3 twos 6 over 4 twos 8. So what we have then is 6 8 plus 1 8. So 6 8 plus 1 8 gives 7. No, it's minus. We're subtracting. So let me do that again. Minus 1, 8. 6, 8 minus 1, 8 gives 5, 8. Alternatively, you could use a shortcut and say you draw the line and find the LCM. LCM of 4 and 8 is 8. 4 into 8, 2 times 2, 3, 6. Minus 8 into 8 is 1. 1, 1, 1. 6 minus 1 is 5. So you have 5, 8. All right? We could also look at this case when you are using a diagram. Let's erase this to make some space. Let's try to use a diagram to do this calculation. You have quarters. You have one, two, three of these quarters. Minus one eighth. So to get this into eight, I do like this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm sure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, but three quarters. In order to subtract them, I need to subtract like for like. So I need to put this into eights as well. So remember, we Add this, this, and this. I make it into eights, and the three quarters give me how many eights? One, two, three, four, five, six eights. I you know six minus, and I'm interested in one of the eight here. Six minus one is five. So I have six eight. I take away one eight, and I'm left with five eights. So that's a matter of subtracting the fractions. We'll move on next time.